In the other movie we have installed Minty Transparent. We go inside our Minty Transparent, our Cinnamon, Cinnamon CSS. This code, just over 3000 lines I thought, no, less than 3000, 2000 lines, are making up this look and also this green. We want to get rid of this green, so we're going to look for a gradient, RGB, some kind of gradient that makes this um, thing green. Then I thought, well, maybe it has something to do what's active. So I said, let's find things that are active. Find. Scroll down, and here you see something. Here it says our background color is white. Pop up slider menu item, backup ground slider is white. No, that's not it. But the slider active background color, this is not white. What is this? So I copy pasted it, went to the internet, uh, just put it somewhere so that Google can find it. And you have this color and that color. Which one is it now? This is the color I found earlier on, I think. Uh huh. So this is the green color. So I had found my code that defines the green color. That's the first thing you have to find. What's the definition of that color? Okay. What's next? Next is finding these codes and changing it to blue. Okay, what kind of blue? Well, the kind we're using here, for instance. So, GPIC, enter, take number two, for instance, go to the blue, it should not change the color, then you're in the right place. This is the color. I want and this should be the code the code RGB code okay we are almost getting there so control H this is the code of blue it has to become blue I don't need spaces thank you no spaces this is the code of green but this has an A, the why is the A? the A is for transparency, of course I want to keep it transparent and 0, 0.8.5 um, yeah. but I will choose 7, I thought that was nicer so what it says here, if you find this occurrence being green change it to something that's blue Okay, let's find everything that's blue and we hope, just hope we're not changing too much may I remind you that this is working with a gradient a gradient means from lighter yellow to darker yellow for instance from white to dark yeah? so it's a starting color and a stopping color so we, have, we are just changing one side but anyway, we have to start somewhere. So, let's try one of them. RGB, let's see if there are no mistakes. No. Replace, find, replace, and then replace 20 replacements. As you can see, that's a lot of work figuring out where it all is. And here we see the next exercise. Control C, Control H. This one is something else, kind of grey, um, kind of green, but not really green. It's gradient, a lighter kind of green. But we're going to say, go from blue to blue, so there will be no green at all, which is just suits us just fine. Uh, I was thinking of the following maybe it's interesting to see what happens if we uh, change it a little bit 
six you won't ab be able to see it just one less so we can select it later on to change it that's a good idea so now this is also blue but just one figure um, less so that we can select it and change it back to, to yellow or blue or anything else so fine let's see how this works so we're getting the gradient start yeah correct and we're going to change it to something else let's try one find and let's try all of them 16 matches 16 replacements I think it's time to take a peek Control S to save it and let's have a look by using this little icon here which is an applet I have installed with just uh, restart summon or restart summon there are two of them here but this one is installed this is active and let's see what happens last look well, it's um, of course already active but it's still green and refresh let's hope it's blue there is our little blue color blue which is in my theme nicer since I have these blue icons here and this blue stuff and maybe a little bit of publicity what if I took a sardi flexible with it then everything is blue all is blue except my trash I have to take out my trash so this is now really one big blue theme well have fun uh, changing these codes